So as options traders, we typically like selling options rather than buying them. And the reason is because short options benefit from theta, where long options are hurt by theta. What is theta? Theta is the passage of time. It's the time value that's baked into the option. And if you're on the short side of an options trade, you benefit as each day passes. You, know, you get a little money for every day that passes in that trade. And this is really what makes selling options so attractive. It's that theta. As we start placing more and more short options trades, the more short options we have in our portfolio, the more theta we have in our overall portfolio, which means the more money we make each and every day as time passage. We just make money every day just by letting time march forward. And naturally, when you're kind of new to options and you first discover this theta, this wonderful thing that is theta, you want to try to capture as much theta as possible. You want to put on the most trades to capture the most theta. And you know, today I wanted to cover how you can increase the theta value on some of your opening trades. So let me switch over to my trading platform. Of course, I use Tasty Trade as my trading platform. And I've pulled up Google here. So we're looking at the options chain for Google, and I'm going to go to the 60 DTE cycle. Now, one of the things you need to know about options when it comes to theta, Theta and Delta, they do have a relationship. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got Delta here in this column of the options chain. I'm also going to change this column. Right now I've got it set to open interest, but I'm gonna set it to Theta for purposes of this video. And let's imagine I sell a one standard deviation put. I love selling puts, so I'm gonna sell uh, this 15 Delta put here, which is the 150 strike in Google. And you can see that this 15 Delta put in Google has a Theta value value of 324. That means that each day that passes, I should expect $3.24 of profit on this trade from theta. You know, I get that time value. That time value is coming out of this short option each and every day, which is what you want if you're short the option. Of course, 324 is just the starting theta value of the trade. We're at 60 DTE, but as we get closer to expiration, the theta value increases and increases, it keeps increasing. So this theta value will, you know, as the life of the trade progresses, it will go up, but this is just the starting theta value. But if you want to increase the starting theta value, if you think, oh, you know, 324 on theta, you know, for a starting theta value is not enough. Well, you could increase the delta of the trade instead of selling a 15 delta put. Maybe I want to sell this 33 delta put. The theta value on it is 452, meaning now instead of making 324 of theta as the opening theta on the, the trade, I make 452. So I make $4.52 as each day passes in this trade. And of course, what I'm showing you here that you know theta increases as we increase the deltas, this is not you know rocket science. I mean, you probably, some of you guys probably already know this. It's probably pretty obvious. Obvious, but I also want it. Yeah, I want to drive this point home. I know a lot of you guys really love selling way out of the money options. You love going like selling five delta puts and you know ten delta calls. You guys go really wide on your short put, short call, short strangles. And when you do that, yes, uh, you're really lowering your directional risk, your delta risk. But you're also you can see the starting theta on this trade is only 175 now. You know, which is uh, pretty much one third of what it was had I just sold the 33 Delta. Now, obviously I'm taking on more directional risk on a 33 Delta put. So, you know, it's a give and take. You, you kind of have to pick and choose your battles. But if you're one of these people that really love the whole idea of theta trading, you you really want to embrace the whole theta trader mindset where you're constantly selling options to capture as much theta as possible. Really selling just one option is not the best way to capture as much theta as you want. Really, the best way to get as much theta as possible, instead of selling a short put or a short call, sell both, right? Sell a strangle, because now you get theta for the short put and theta for the short calls. You, know, you basically get double the theta as long as you take 
both the short put and the short call. As long as you trade both sides of the trade, you get double the theta. Not only that, you also have no directional uh, assumption on the trade. It's a delta neutral trade, so you're neither wanting uh, the stock to go up or go down. So this is a nice way to also not add any more long deltas to your portfolio or add any more short deltas to your portfolio. So if you're one of these people that constantly put on a lot of long deltas, you know, a strangle is a good way to still trade, but not add add any more long delta risk to your overall portfolio. Plus you get massive amounts of theta on a strangle. And that's really all I had for you on today's video. It's really just being mindful of that relationship between delta and theta. If you're only selling one side of the trade, either just a put or a call, you know, the higher the delta, the more starting theta you have on the trade. And an easy way to get a lot of delta is just sell both sides of the trade. So sell the strangle and you get twice the theta. Now, if you want to learn more about options trading, including the Greeks, such as Delta and Theta, check out my book, The Super Wheel Option Strategy, which is available on Amazon. You'll find a link in the description below. Also, if you want to help support my work, please consider subscribing to the DT Options Discord channel. I hang out in the Discord channel for the first hour of market open each and every trading day. I'm typically hanging out in the voice channel and we have discussions, me and the members there. You guys can ask me questions. If you've got questions about any of the option Greeks, whether it be Delta, Theta, Vega, any kind of option strategies you want to ask about. If you are new to options trading, you're not sure about the basic concepts, or even if you're new to the Tasty Trade platform, won't help, you know, setting up your positions tabs and things like that. You know, I'm available for those kinds of questions as well. So please consider signing up. I'd love to have you there. Peace, guys.